Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Captain of Industry. Uh, in the last episode we dealt with a bit of excess and we're not quite done uh, out of the woods just yet. So there's a few things we need to deal with at the moment. I'm going to pause the game for a second while we quickly look at a few things. Ship's weapons have been researched, so I'll dismiss that. Um, that means we can, well, let's start off by repairing this guy. And then we can come in over here and get um, the extra weaponry um, installed. So that is going to... Let's cancel that for the time being. Let's get the ship repaired first, and then we'll move it on. Um, over here, this is full. Um, okay, and we said we need to sort out our our, our diesel um, our diesel items. Um, we need to sort out diesel. Diesel cannot. Oh, excellent. Um, I think we're all good with regard to the fertilizer. It's not a big deal anymore. NAFTA. I've added even more tanks of NAFTA over here. So hopefully. Um, we can continue diesel production. That's basically it. We run out of stuff and then diesel production slows down. Let's have a quick look. Um, we're still working our way towards this. So I think we need a slight uh, interim fix for the time being with regards to, um, to diesel production, there, which is the heavy, the cracking of the, of the heavy oil. Uh, or actually we could just create, we can just take the NAFTA and and, and crack that into, into diesel as well. Hmm, maybe that is more appropriate. And then what we can do is we can produce steam from, uh, from our, from our uh, more steam can be produced from, from the diesel. Uh, let's, let's have a look at that. Let's see if that can be done as a short-term fix. Um, we will need NAFTA to come in over here. So NAFTA is certainly um, an easy option for us. Uh, what I was wondering is where do we actually place this? So we will need steam to come in. So maybe the easiest thing for us to do is just to place it somewhere over here and bring in the NAFTA from that side and bring in the steam from this side. So if we do... Um, something like this. We'll keep it paused for the time being. So we can quite comfortably bring the NAFTA in over there. And we should be able to bring the steam in. So let's uh, bring in NAFTA over there. And we can stop exporting it from this side if we need to. We need to bring in steam. NAFTA plus steam gives us diesel plus sour water. Uh, I'm not sure the sour water is going to be able to deal with it. But... A bit of a, it's a bit of a constant mix, isn't it? Um, okay, so let's bring in steam. I believe this is the steam pipe. Yes, so I think we can just bring in steam from over here because I don't think that one is actually being fully, fully utilized. So let's do that. We'll bring in our steam over here. I will um, do that so that we don't have to worry about getting vehicles in there. Then this guy needs to come out and produce... Well, actually, it can just dump the diesel right over here. Uh, diesel, though. This is going to be the sour water, which is where? I believe that's the sour water that's going in there. Okay, so from my perspective, we need to make sure that we cannot join on a ramp. And I don't... Oh, we're, we're, we're up high over here. Okay, excellent. So, sour water. We'll have to tie in over here. So, what I'll do is let's go up a level to rightly about there. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that and we'll... Just tie that one in there and I will do the delivery. So sour water can go back that way and then diesel can join. Well, we'll see where we'll, we'll, where we will end up joining the diesel. Can we join it here? Oh, beautiful. We can just join it right over there. So let's join the diesel right over there. So hopefully this whole setup that I, I did quick, uh, I did quick build this. Let's quick build that and let's quick build this one. And let's just go ahead and quick build that. So all of that's all good. And we're going to use NAFTA. Um, and I think that should all 
run quite nicely. So no more um, exports over there. How much does it use in a 24 and 60 minutes? And this one does, ooh, that's the entire amount actually. Okay, so this is now going nuts and creating diesel for us. What I am wondering is, are we gonna run out of steam? Because theoretically this should not be able to, to run the steam. Let's, uh, let's flare off a little bit over here. Play that off a little bit and this should run out of nafta now that's really what's going to happen here this is going to run out of nafta so it means um it means i should potentially um link this nafta up over there also so let's uh, let's try and do that. Can I? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Let's do that. We'll get link our NAFTA up over there, and we'll quick deliver that using some of our Unity. So at least now, I think we're going to be all good. But now we don't need the extra NAFTA anymore. I think. I think this is going to be all good. Missing input, which is what? Maybe the steam. We're definitely going to create more diesel now. Okay. Let's see this thing. Let's stop the flare there. Now I. Think think this will will work well at least a little bit more so we're going to definitely be producing more diesel from nafta over here and we could, we could see about cracking to the heavy oil a little bit later as well but hopefully that diesel supply will start running up um, a lot better now a lot better we only got 13 workers left so we should start to run the edict that will get us more workers um, but I think we'll keep a close eye on this. What I want to be very sure of is that we're not... What are we running out of? What are we running out of here? Output is full for sour water. Okay, that was... That was the issue. So what I could do... So how much sour water is this producing? 12 plus 12 plus... Uh, a mere 6... Um, so potentially what I'll do is I'll put a boost on our sour water over there and that should then quite comfortably um, clear our sour water all the time. What's happening over here? Missing input. Um, I think this is just getting back up to speed though. There's still plenty of steam in all of these guys. Steam is not the problem. We've got decent amounts of steam. Uh, maybe not. No, no, maybe we do. Maybe we do have decent amounts of steam. Look at that guy filling up so nicely. Uh, low food supply, I'll have a look at that now. Uh, sour water should be good. This guy should be filling up nice. Okay, so hopefully that gives us a bit of an extra spark over there. We should have a fair bit of net. No, 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 don't, don't, no, no doing that, please, please don't do that, uh, no export over there. Wow, okay, so hopefully that um, gives us, buys us a little bit of time while we go and set up our refinery on the other side, and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to just rebuild the entire thing and re reclaim this for maybe a, a, a you know, the production of, of wood or something like that. And I need to move things around here a little bit. I probably need to trim this a little bit on that side too. Anyway, stuff like that needs to happen. Um, we've got plenty of crude, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crude is, we, we're full up on crude at the moment. Low water supply, where is that? Uh, this is less of an issue for us, isn't it? Ah. Oh. This one is on. Do you wonder? We don't have uh, any problem with supply here, no. This is this is running brilliantly. We just need to probably double that up a little bit. Uh, ooh, this is uh, is clearing out quite nicely. So, one of the things that we could do now is I can try and get this to be flush, or I can. 
yeah, I, I'm not sure if that's going to be workable. I can certainly trim, trim the shoreline a little bit if I needed to. Yeah, that's potentially the issue. Let's just have a look at this. Uh, yes, that's clearing it out nicely over there. Now, the question is, let's pause it for a second. Oil rig has full output of storage. Yeah, that's fine. I know what the issue is there. Now, do I do, wanna, do I go ahead and dump um, some stuff in here to kind of make it flush? Or do I try and do a, a bit of a... It might be in our favor to try and do that, right? To try and do something like this. Right, but that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen anytime soon. So let's clear that out again and let's see. Can I? We'll need to, we'll need the big one. So this is about the closest we can get it. So if we do it there, alternatively, can we, oh no, this is not going to work. So we'll, we'll need to get it. We'll need to get one over here, presumably. And then what we can do is we can, we can slowly start to build out on the other side. So let's, um, let's do that. So let's get, let's move our entire oil operation. Um, over here, in which case, I think we can uh, stop that for the time being. And what we'll do is we'll trim out all of this and we'll cancel all of that for the time being so that we can get ready for our for our oil, our oil industry in, in this area. We'll get our get our proper. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll probably provide some additional access over here as well. But I think that's where we can we can really work it out. Right. OK, let's do that. Let's get um, get underway with our new refinery. For the time being, I think we are okay as long as these things keep going. Missing input, which is fine. I think it's all running quite nicely and our crude oil is, well, yeah, we're not even close to being an issue with that. Okay, let's um, see about this. There's plenty of fertilizers over here. So I think what I'll do is I'll switch this one over to corn again. I'll uh, switch that one over to potato. And what we'll do is we'll see about squeezing in a quick upgrade. Let's do a quick upgrade over there um, so that we can get a little bit more pumped out. But that should definitely work. Um, I've seen, <laughs> seen players that's built like six farms and things like that. But I think if you just continuously upgrade your farming industry, it shouldn't be the end of the world. Now the ship has been repaired. Now, the question is, do we go and do that? We do want to build a completely new setup of some of these things. This is going to take us a bit of time. So let's leave it as is for the time being. We don't need the exploration just yet. We certainly don't need to be um, wasting any diesel on exploration um, for the time being. So let's, uh, let's just leave it as is. The oil rig is full storage. So let's, um, what we could do... Uh, where's my other oil rig? That one has a full storage. So let's drop that one down to a single shift only. Okay. And it's got no workers. Why? And this one? Well, let's see. Let's see what, what we get from that. Ooh, our food is an issue. What's going on here? No. Okay, everything is kind of arriving. Still waiting for 300 of this. But anyway, that should be okay. What's our water looking like over here? Should be bringing in water as well. Yeah, that's what's happening. Guys, dro dropping off water so that we can continuously actually produce. Yeah, our food should be fine. Our food should ultimately be fine. This is now going to be built and that should be upgraded as well. Oil rig is full output. Yeah, that's fine. And our water storage, which is over here, is running low. That's okay. That's okay also. And our diesel is looking good. 
That number is going down, and that number seems to be either steady or going up. Ooh, what's going on over here? Let's have a quick look. What are you missing, buddy? You don't seem to be missing anything. You've got plenty of output there. So it's just a matter of you're not actually doing enough. So let's boost this guy and see about bringing that back up to speed again. That'll help a little bit. Okay, anything else? Low food supply is constantly being, being, we're being hit with low food supply all the time. So what I am wondering about is do I put an extra, because I don't think it, it counts anything other than the food that's in the food market, right? Which is currently, total for the settlement is about 15 months. Consumed per month is, yeah, I don't know. Digestate processing is done, which is good. We might come back to that. Um, but not quite yet though. That's full. That's full. Oh, that's not full. So no, it, all of this is, is doing well. All of this. No, no, there's no extra rubber over there. Where, how's this going? Barely holding on. Are we out of NAFTA? What's our NAFTA situation looking like? No, there's tons of NAFTA over here. Tons of NAFTA available, and we probably... This thing is continuously running. Yeah, it's okay. We are, we are running all the time. Yeah, our diesel is barely holding on. Yeah, now the crude is back. So yeah, it's a, it's an interesting one. They sh yeah, the ship is full of crude. That's that's basically what's going on here. Um, that should be built. Oh, there we go. That's another one. And this is saying cargo has no module available, which is fine. That's uh, it's absolutely fine. Uh, we need to trim this out and start work on our um, on our refinery. And I, I want to kind of see how I'm going to plan this thing out the very least what we should be doing is looking at um, getting ourselves a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a access ramp going on over there so if we do about that much and then we say guys we're gonna it's not what a, that was the plan uh, what's the level over here? Just check that. So it's my, it's two, it's two. All we need to do is drop it down to. Okay, so that's a little bit too far away then. Okay, so let's do that, and then we'll drop it down from there to two, and we'll level it out over here so there we go so that is a mining operation mining slash full uh well let's trim out that one that one seems to be a bit of a, a challenge this one may end up being being useful so we'll do that we'll have to build a mining tower over here so let's build a mining tower so that we can building Tower. Let's build a mining control tower over there um, so that we can start doing that piece. Um, and we want to keep an eye. What's going on? Stor storage, uh, water supplies low, cargo depot has no module, all rig is full output. That's fine. This should be back up and running. And we should be producing a lot of food now. Yeah, okay. Seven workers available, so we're almost out of workers. Um, I should put the edict back on that'll give us more workers. Um, this is coming back up nicely. That's nice. Diesel is okay. Um, food should be okay. Yeah, the reason it's 13 months is because when that thing is full, it is 13 months. It doesn't even count any of the other storages that's full of food. Which I believe some of these will. Okay, now we, yeah, we're using more fertilizer now. 
which is something that we will have to do. Yeah, no, I think I think we're okay with the food. To be to be very honest, I think we're okay with the food. Uh, what's going on over here? No, we can definitely do. We can definitely try and trim this out a little quicker. And I can do that by assigning some more vehicles to it. Um, do I do one of the big ones? Let's get one of the big ones to each one of these and see. So we can just try and trim this out a little quicker. I want to see. So the big one should at least take two trees at a time, right? Yeah, it's far to drive at the moment. Here comes the big guys. I want to keep an eye on that. And then I want to start planning out this uh, refinery. So how many does it take? One. Two trees. Ooh. Three trees. And nowhere to go. Wow, nowhere to go. Let's just see what's going on here. Awful. No, it's not awful, guys. How's this going? Do we have a constant supply? Yeah, we've got a constant supply now. So that should all be good. These are all running. Seemingly, they're all running and our diesel is decent. Diesel is decent. We're getting out of running out of power every now and again. Why do you not have any place to take these trees? Because it's 60 at a time. Is that what it is? It just doesn't feel quite right to me, does it? Doesn't it? It does. It just doesn't feel right that it's not, not accepting of it. I mean, it should quite comfortably be accepting it. No export. Thank you. That might be part of our problem. No export. If anything, you're going to export from over here. Yeah, yeah. That's good. I mean, it's nowhere close to being full. Yeah, I'm not sure if the big trucks are actually doing its doing its thing here. I'm not seeing the big trucks arrive. They're still kind of parked over here with nowhere to go. Truck deliver, cannot deliver wood. No valid destination. What do you mean there's no valid destination? There's definitely a valid destination. Anyway, we're going to continue to clear that out. I believe we're holding on with our current refinery. The other big thing that I would like us to do is redo, um, well, not necessarily redo this. I want to keep this, but... Put in another big setup for that over here. And maybe that's what we'll quickly plan in the last few minutes is let's talk about what we've currently got because we've got some new technology available in the smelting space. So we, we've got the blast furnace um, number two, which requires iron ore crushed. So that's the thing. That's the difference. So we need to run iron ore through the crusher to get the blast furnace two up and running. Right, to then provide us with molten iron. And then the cooled caster takes the... Oh, no, 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 the cooled caster, the metal caster. The metal caster too then takes takes that and reduces, um, reduces the, the iron. And that's, that's the end of the process, right? It just goes to the metal caster. Okay. So let's have a quick look at our numbers here. So we will effectively be producing 36 um, molten iron. And then the metal caster will take 20 in 60 seconds, right? So that is a bit of a challenge. So how many? 36 plus 36 gives us 72. Wow. Oh, we're never gonna we're gonna, never gonna get these numbers to align, are we? If we, but this, these are not the, um, these are not the level twos. Oh, actually, you can do both the level one and the level two. So one level two, one level one. 
Gives you 36. Uh, 32. <laughs> this is going to be... This is never going to work. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to do for each one of these, you're going to do two of them. That's 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 about the best ratio that we're going to get without getting crazy with things. And so for each one of these, you need one of these as well. Okay, so let's uh, let's quickly plan that out. And hang on, we're going to go into the planning tool and we'll quickly plan that out in uh, kind of this... I'm tempted to do it, to run it in, in this area over here. Should be able to, actually, should be able to do it. Um, let's run it to this. Well, we have, actually, hang on, before we, before we even go there. Yeah, we can, we can comfortably run it in that, in that spot there. Yeah, we don't want to go too far in here. So let's, let's just run it. This is started somewhere up here. That's going to be all good. So we'll need a crusher. Okay, this is the planning tool, right? Let's just let's just re-emphasize the planning tool. Okay, good. So we'll get the crusher over there. Okay, and from the crusher we and the question always that I have with these things is do we no, I don't think we need a buffer in between there. We don't need crushed crushed stuff or anything. Now we'll go to the blast furnace number two. No, you're supposed to be paused. <sighs> ah, planning tool. Okay, anyway, there's our crusher without any workers. By the way, let's uh, let's grow our population, please. Growth boost, population increase. Ooh, growth boost two. Well, let's get two growth boosts in there then, at least for a little while. Um, okay, so that's the crusher. Back to the planning tool, please. Um, we'll go with Blast Furnace number two. Okay, so we'll do a little... Uh, I don't think we need a ton of room between the two of them. So let's just do um, a little... Well, let's run it on that side. And we'll get limestone in between, I think. We'll do that. Is this thing paused? Yeah, it's paused, okay? All paused, right? No thing being built now. So from there, we need two of these guys. Ah, you know what? You know what? It's not paused. <sighs> Planning tool is useless. Oh no, it's the pause tool. <laughs> I've been nicking the wrong button. Uh, it's me. It's me. It's all me, guys. It's all me. These guys just don't have anything to take their uh, wood supply to, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Let's quickly add a few more here. Let's just get a few more storage um, facilities up and, up and running here. To be honest, now that we've got that going, let's just do... Uh, we'll do a bit of quick delivery so we can make sure that this one is for wood products. Keep it nice and full. Thank you. No export. There we go. And there we go. So now hopefully everybody is going to come and dump this stuff. Because it's such a small storage, I don't think we're actually getting the big trucks to come and actually do the deliveries. But hopefully they are going to come around and we're going to clear this area in a jiffy. That should help us out a little bit. Okay, population is back up and growing, which means that we should be able to sort out some of these things. Now, back to the planning tool. Okay, so hang on. So what we can do, let's let's quickly have another look at this. So if we go, if we're saying that we're going to have 16 extra. So from the blast furnace, if we end up having 16 extra after the metal caster, that could then go to the oxygen furnace. Oh no, that takes an entire 36 into the oxygen furnace too. Yeah, so that's that's still not going to really work. The, the metal caster and the blast furnace too 
doesn't quite line up. So the metal caster is just going to be, be what it is. Okay. And then the oxygen furnace too gives you 18 and then the schooled caster uses 20. It's just, it's just weird that these ratios, well, we'll never really get these ratios, ra ratios perfect. So really there is no um, perfect other thing. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and run um, a couple of metal casters in here. So if we do say that, plus that and that is effectively your production how does that compare to this side it's exactly the same as what's currently running on this side the only thing is we've running we're running at least two of them over there and so this one will have spare capacity for one of these to be kind of overclocked basically well oh no no it won't it won't that one could potentially be overclocked a little bit or boosted Okay, so that's that's basically the setup. Now, um, so do we do we go ahead and, and replicate that? We need a full spectrum of this each time. So potentially, what we do is we um, we just do that that whole setup again. What I'll do is I'll leave um, a little bit of room there. Oh, actually, I want to flip it. And then we'll turn it around so that we've got, yes, we've got the slag coming down the middle. Okay, so if we do that one and... So that'll be iron. Then what are we saying? Potentially two of them for... Uh, actually, let's cancel this thing. Get rid of that, do that again, Blast Furnace 2. Uh, around, what are we looking at? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. So let's flip that one to do that. And one more. Flip it around and turn it around. And there we go. So now, that's not necessarily any more than we are doing on the other side. So now the question is, if we're running all of this, so hang on. So before we do that, so now let's just say, so now, oh, actually, now we're actually starting to get somewhere. Now we can start combining them. So let's take off these metal casters. So if we're saying that all of them will be running um, and we'll need, we'll need to sort out how we're going to do that. So now we can say metal casters, plus oxygen furnaces. Ah. So if you do that, then it's 20. And then there's 16 yet available. Yeah, but even that's not going to be a, a decent, a decent size. But anyway, so at the moment, we are producing how much of this stuff? About 24 molten iron is being produced. This is going up to, well, the question is how much really. This is going up to 36. Let's do 36 times five of them. It's kind of what I'm, what I'm contemplating here. So something like that, right? And then from here, um, how much can you get in a molten channel? Do we have upgraded molten channels? We do not. So this takes about... 360 seconds so that's that is so so how much so let's let's have a quick look at this let's uh let's do the math and then i need to end the episode so um and i'm and i'm, and I'm gonna do, do the whole calculator thing <laughs> let's uh let's quickly see so if i do the math here and i say it's 36 times and it is it, it is um it is 36 right it's 36 times in every 60 seconds so let's just say so 36 times five gives us 180 okay so to be honest we uh we can't even fill up a molten channel with with that so one molten channel would be all that we need to run this and 
It also means that we could expand it by running it into two different ones. So this is actually quite interesting. This blast furnace setup, we don't have to do it as linear as it used to be. What we could effectively do is we could now say, if I can find it, the blast furnace, we could run it in the other direction as well. But I will go ahead and flip it so that we um, we try and maintain them one by one. So let's uh, leave it a little bit of room in between there. Uh, something like this. So let's do that. Let's do that and I believe something like that. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll flip it around, rotate it, and we don't have to build all of this at once. We won't we won't be able to either. Um, and then we do that and there. Now that is one molten channel full of molten iron which can run to multiple different sources that we can run around and, and expand over there i like that idea in order for us to however do that we need multiple crushers as well so let's um let's get ourselves multiple crushers one two three and five like so and we'll need lots of limestone too let's place this one in there i'm gonna luckily keep all of this paused on planning uh ooh, actually that one i didn't want to do this way this one i wanted a uh, over here that one over there and that one over there so there's multiple crushers now now this means we need an enormous amount of iron ore to be to be fed into this operation. We'll need tons of power for this too. So uh, let's, by the way, let's just um, pause these two things. That's that's currently draining power and workers. And yeah, that's 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 what we're gonna do. From here, we're gonna split off um, our a full molten channel into multiple uh, different different areas. I believe that's the case. And if I quickly go to research. Is there an upgrade to the Molten Channel? The conveyor belts 2 have been done. The Molten Channel... Conveyor belts 3. I don't think there's an upgrade to the Molten... There's pipes 3. I've not seen a Molten Channel upgrade. Some of these things is... We're very close to getting to the end of this. Arc Furnace 2. What does this Arc Furnace even do? Same thing. So we could upgrade some of this stuff to the arc furnace. Wow, if we uh, if we're if we're if we're doing a lot of stuff though. Now I don't think there's a molten channel. So let's uh let's let's leave it to that. So that's a full molten channel right over there. That is 360, which uh, I believe just double check the molten channel quickly. Ooh, hang on, it's one too many. It is one too many. So it only takes 300 on a molten channel. And that'll be 180 plus 180 will give us 360. So we should really take two of them off. We should really take two of them off then. Because this would be too much. Too much for the model channel. I thought it was 360 in 60 seconds. The Molten Channel takes way more than anything else. Molten Balancer. Oh, and we can of course use Molten Balancer. Okay, that's going to be too much then. So it's going to be 36 times 8. Let's quickly see what that is. Just so we've got exact numbers. 36 times 8 gives us 288. So yeah, that's just under the capacity of the Molten Channel. So yes, we need to take two of them off. So let's take uh, those two off, off there. And that's going to be the full Molten Channel basically. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's gone on a little bit longer than expected, but we will hopefully get this up and running 
Um, plus start planning our refinery in the next episode. See you. Bye-bye.